today we got the good guy federico we're back we're back and we're asking my friends how their college experience has been what is the worst thing about dartmouth don't or will you donate to the school how's the dating life oh it's complicated i say like com so to start what university you go to dartmouth college so what is your major uh economics economics no minor international relations what have been your internships at college did two internships in Washington, D.C. Uh, the first one was the Wilson Center, a think tank. And second, also in another think tank, which is the Center for Strategic and International Studies. Uh, okay, so basically, CSA, yeah. basically he interned at two of the top 10 think tanks in the world, which is pretty cool. What has been your GPA at college? Been 396. 396. So Buddy basically just said he has no so no friends or social life. So that just take that into consideration. Keep uh, that in mind. Keep that in mind. <laughs> Three nine six is ridiculous. Do you it's feel like, like gra there's great inflation? Great inflation. Dartmouth, okay, great inflation. Yeah. And then have you had what's been your involvement on campus? My freshman year, I worked on the diving team, the swim and dive team. Then I was at what we call a UGA. It's like a RA in the dorms. I worked all kind of different jobs. Like I taught. Italian, I was an econ tutor, econ TA, then I went back to being a TA for Italian, all kind of odd, odd jobs. Okay. I was like a mentor for international students okay. last okay. year, and then just uh, research with profs, like economic research. The last one, is really the most important one, is this program called the War and Peace Fellows. It's like a seminal style program, like uh, 20, 20 Dharma students that meet like every, every week with a speaker that has something to do with, with like international security, so to war and peace. So sometimes it's war photographer or with some people from the Pentagon coming or professors at Georgetown. And would you say that's been your favorite one or what's been your favorite? I would say so, okay. yes. That's very unique. I think it's only Dartmouth and Stanford that has this, this type of programs. Okay. It's really nice because every year the professor that manages the program uh, take us on trips in the spring, usually DC. Last time we visited the National Security Council, okay. Treasury, visited the UN. Last December went to Brussels to see the NATO headquarters, okay. International Court of um, Justice, to really like meet the people that actually do those type of jobs that are in the international security sphere. So that was like, that was uh, that was that was amazing. Okay, so now we're gonna do a quick rapid fire. So I'm gonna give him different categories. He's gonna say if it's better or worse than what he expected. So first off, parties. Worse. Why? I feel like. Greek life parties after one year or so they get boring. What about the food on campus? Food, thumbs up. What's so good about the food? I just like the just like the dining hall. Like I I thought I wouldn't like the food. Like I come from Italy, so I have like the Mediterranean diet, all that kind of stuff. Yeah. But food is food is pretty good. Food is pretty fresh. Okay. Um, my a lot of my friends would not agree with this, but okay. I like the food at Dartmouth. Yeah. That's the one thing I'll say. At a lot of these great schools, a lot of the students will say the food's not great. Yeah. But it's funny. I had, a, I had a friend who was in the army come, and he was like, "Y'all don't know what bad food is." Bro. So I think the food's actually really good. Whether just it's a, just Dartmouth, a spoil, it's a spoil. Yeah, kids. spoil for real. <laughs> Next, how's the dating life? Dating life, I'd say. Oh, it's complicated. I say like in general, like wars okay. because Dartmouth is a small school and it's kind of it's kind of like like a small high school vibe. Like when you date someone, oh, it's right here. Oh, oh there we go. <laughs> when you date someone, everybody's gonna know about it. Okay. Um, but I also met my girlfriend Lucy. So like, buddy, <laughs> so happy, both so happy. <laughs> he met his girlfriend, um, who I really love. That's a big word. That was a big word. Uh, how is the campus? Campus old. Better. Better. Uh, alumni connection. Alumni connection, I'd say like like what I expected, okay. pretty much. Like going in, I thought they were they were pretty strong. It's like one thing that Dharmas is really proud of is the alumni connection and I would say I would say they they were they're right about, about that. Yeah. What about like the city and the surrounding area around Dartmouth? It's beautiful from a nature perspective. It's like in the in the woods in New Hampshire at the border with uh, New Hampshire and Vermont. Wow. I know, right? Wow. <laughs> If you're an outdoors enthusiast, it's like amazing. Yeah. But if you're not that big on like hiking or like high skating or running, whatever, there's not much. It's like it's like a tiny town with. Do you think that helps foster a better sense of community on campus? I would say I would say yes. Okay. But also, I mean, it's it's kind of like a double edged sword in the sense that sure it it like forces people to like stay on campus and hang yeah. out with each other, but also. It doesn't offer anything social life-wise, so then everything revolves around Greek life, Fair which enough. 
if it's your thing, great. If it's not your thing, then that's all there is. So <laughs> maybe maybe not the best thing, you know. Mm -hmm. You you don't have as many options, I guess, if it makes sense. What about the professors? Professors, oh, amazing. There are some of them who really became really more than more than professors, became mentors, friends, and created really special relationships. That's one of, I guess, one of the best thing I'd say was this experience was really meeting some of them. Okay, the last one for better or worse is yeah. the ego boost that comes with telling people you went to the Ivy League. I'd, I'd say like, like when you're a freshman, it's like over the roof. Okay. Then over time, you kind of like- Just get used to it. <laughs> you kind of become humble again. Okay. <laughs> you kind of realize that like, Sure, it's like yeah. it's, it's a great school, but like 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 there are many other great schools. You still gotta get a job, yeah. Exactly. Feel, At the, the other day, way. you're still gonna get a job, and even if you go to a, like a prestige public school, you're not you're like any other kid. It doesn't really for real. Yeah. Okay, now we're gonna go probe a bit deeper. So we went at layer one. Now we're going to layer two. Layer two. Layer two. So the question I have to you is, what do you think is the best thing about Dartmouth? I would say the people. The people in terms of friends, professors, or just people working at the college that are no professor. I think like everybody there is really nice. And no. and also at Darwin, I met some of the coolest people that I've ever met in my life. There are people coming from all over the states, all over the world. So I guess the the diversity of nationalities, culture, ideas, it's something I'd I'd never seen before and I think it's like truly truly unique. So I would say Say to people, yeah. Okay, so on the opposite side, what is the worst thing about Dartmouth? It put a lot, lot of emphasis on specific careers, and I guess it's not just a Dartmouth problem. It's like a problem of like most like top schools. Mm -hmm. But I feel like it, and maybe Dartmouth, like maybe even more. I feel like it really, it really channels you into like specifically like finance and consulting, and I guess it's part of. Part is the school, part is maybe the also the people that go to the school that also yeah. go for those careers. Mm -hmm. But I feel within within Greek life, for example, within clubs, I feel like there's a general like culture of going into finance and consulting, which and, what, and what's bad about that in your opinion? I don't think there's something bad necessarily in going to the career. I think it's bad if you know you have kids that come to this great school to become scientists to become doctors to become uh, entrepreneurs teachers and then they all end up doing investment banking and consulting i feel like if these are really the this the smartest mind in our society i feel that maybe the school could do a better job of you know empowering them to reach those goals and not really to settle for and that's not really settling but like yeah. just a high paying job that's okay. like kind of dull and maybe doesn't doesn't do as much good to society as they could have been. I feel like maybe doesn't let people reach their full potential. It okay. makes sense. So, if what is an accomplishment you're most proud of from your time at college? <laughs> Honestly, just being able to do college. Um, <laughs> yeah, I mean it's it's like simple, but it was. I think it's not something that I should have taken for granted. I had some some very tough trimesters. Yeah. Um, there were times that I thought that wouldn't be able to graduate on time or or be able to 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 do my classes to get a center internship but mm -hmm. so far and fingers crossed i've been doing it um so body said i look for <laughs> no, i look i look, I look forward to to graduation like have my parents there and uh -huh. um just i think i'd be very proud to have my parents there and see for real yeah. bro you should be how many friends do you think you'll be staying in touch with from your time at college in 20 years from now 20 years 20 years 10 20 years will we be in touch in 20 years i mean i hope not i hope not <laughs> it's been dragging been dragging for way okay, too long okay, bro. okay 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 but i'd I, say from, from dartmouth from i'd dartmouth. say i'd say very very few i'd say so you could count on your one hand yeah i'd say one two three i'd say three or four Three or four. Okay, Dartmouth, there's seven th six thousand of y'all. Y'all got some time to <laughs> get on his finger, bro. Let's make it two fingers. No, but it's that's not like that's not like a college thing. It's like a I think it's just a me thing. I'm very Okay. I'm very selective in terms of yeah. people and friends, so I tend to have like smaller friend group. That's 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 why. Yeah. Okay. Valid. Would you or will you donate to the school after you graduate? Yes. You will? I will. I think according to like how much money I'll be making, okay. but but yes, I think I'd like to. And, and why? And why, why do you because say Because so? Durham gave me a lot uh, in terms, not just in in monetary terms, in terms yeah. of scholarship, but just in terms of just pe 
a lot of people that helped me along the way. The administration, professors, other students, it really changed my life. I would like to be able to give back and real, also real, have other students, maybe like me, gonna, to have the same experience. And any Italian Dartmouth people watching, bro, you guys might have yeah, we got we got the Sigalot freaking d scholarship fund in, <laughs> yeah. in the scholarship might fund. Might have to wait. Might have to wait, like... Give it like, have to wait give it like 70 or 80 years, but we'll, we'll get there at some point. <laughs> okay. I'll wait. I'll wait. In the similar vein is, yeah. if you had a, if a kid, boy or girl that yeah. was smart enough and you had the financial means enough to have them attend the university, what would you tell them? I, I mean, it would depend what my kids' goals are. Okay. Because I do think that Dartmouth can also be... A stressful, a stressful place. Okay. At times, like I feel that maybe some other friends of mine, both in Italy and both in the U.S., maybe had like better college experience in terms of like more fun. Yeah. Um, because maybe working a little less. Okay. So I think, I think it depends what the, what my key goal will be. I mean, if or maybe it is you could going, tell them to go to Dartmouth, but just not be a narc. Maybe is what you could. You think I, I could, could. I could put the caveat. You there. could put a caveat. <laughs> yeah, right? yeah. 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 Okay. But no, I guess, I guess in general, if. If that's what they would they would want to do, and they're looking at like uh, school and it's sort of like academic crown, like some of the best, yes, yeah. I would definitely, definitely. Do you have a biggest regret? Biggest regret besides maybe um, spending too much time in the library. It's too much time in the library. Getting out of the shape to the point where I can beat you up now. That's probably one that. Just, I don't think not, that's true. Okay. I don't think I don't. I was like quitting the diving team. Mm. I quit the diving team my sophomore year because I was rushing a fraternity. And a Dartmouth is a big deal. Oh, bro, bro, fumbled, bro. I fumbled, yeah. <laughs> How did, I, lo okay. I love diving. In, in the comment section, if you were in Federico's situation, diving team or fraternity, what would you guys choose? Well, but also you got to understand that at Dartmouth, like, fraternity is, like, a huge deal. Like, everybody, everybody, not, a, not everybody, but, like, most guys join a fraternity and it seems as, like, it's going to determine the fate of your social life, which yeah. somewhat... Somewhat, somewhat does I would say like being going unaffiliated for some people it's um, it's, it's hard not a death sentence but okay. it's it's hard I would say how competitive yeah has Dartmouth been in terms of classes other people yeah no, no I'm assuming no ripping of papers out of people's textbooks but how no, competitive how competitive no. how competitive is it I say it's competitive in terms of like how smart people are okay because if if before in high school I was you know one of the smartest kids like in the room, getting to Dartmouth is maybe <laughs> sometimes the opposite, opposite yeah, right? Probably depends on the class. But. Depends on the class, right? But I would say I would say not not too competitive. I would say like students are like really friendly. Okay. Um, like I've always found people that were willing to to help and were nice about it. Not really. Not many people that were like cutthroat in terms of like academics and stuff however i gotta say in terms of like everything else in the university like even sports clubs yeah. or or fraternities for example there's a lot of emphasis on being exclusive so okay, getting into certain club like sometimes you have to interview or write essays just to get into like an extracurricular club which to me seems like i don't know seems like a little crazy you know just some even for I mean, for sports, I'll show you, you got to try out. But sometimes you feel like too exclusive or it feels like they're trying to be more exclusive than you need to be, if it uh -huh. makes sense. I don't know. Would you describe Dartmouth in three words? Green. Green. <laughs> because it's the school color and just Green, okay. so much nature. Green. Cold. Cold. But okay. <laughs> the, wi the, win the winters are really hard. Okay. So I've been writing my admission essay, kind of like bullshitting my admission essay, but it turned out to be true, like okay. tied knit. Tight knit, okay. I feel so. He that said green, cold, and tight knit. That's that's <laughs> yeah. valid. That's valid. That's valid. I actually see just, that. Just cut this, bro. This, no, this buddy, question was no. so bad. Green, he, this question he was, had bad answer. The answer was yeah. We'll do two more questions. I'll ask yeah. just, okay. Would you rather? Would you rather go to Dartmouth? Yes. Or, for the rest of your life, you have free fruit. Unlimited free fruit, including bananas. Bananas, apples, oranges, whatever. Because then I could start like a fruit selling business. You could start and a fruit make money business. off of that. You could, but it's just your personal consumption. So, oh, just for it, personal consumption. It's for personal consumption. I mean, gosh, 
Dude, this is a hard <laughs> question. Hey, hard, que hard, hard decision, but I will still go with Dartmouth. Buddy said, fruit. We ain't rocking with fruit. Get that out of here. The last question I have for you is, yeah. what's a pivotal moment that happened at Dartmouth that significantly changed your world view? Maybe change myself or change my goals okay, career-wise. Yeah. It's, it's changing the way you view yeah. yourself. Yeah. For the longest time, I've been really confused about career paths or what I would do mm -hmm. for a living or after Dartmouth. I that change uh, I had a hint of that when I participated into uh, a war simulation. It was a simulation about I think a war in the Middle East is some sort of role play game, but that has like very very real features. Mm -hmm. Very it really mimics reality. Some of those simulations also done in Washington by think tanks to okay. predict like scenarios, outcomes. And it was like a five hour you know, half day simulation with 30 different students and people that were managing the simulation. And I don't know, I, it felt really, really exciting. It felt meaningful to kind of be in the shoes of policymaker having to take hard decisions that would like change people's lives. And it was in that time that um, I realized I wanted a job that had a meaning that would make a positive difference to to my country, to to society. So that was like a realization, like um, what do you call realization, or when light like ball, a light, light bulb, bulb moment yeah, light bulb for moment. me? Yes, awesome. Drew, it's always a pleasure. Always a pleasure. Okay, so you're not interviewing students from Notre Dame, right? You said just just good schools. Um, buddy, 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 <laughs> buddy, buddy, buddy. I heard his head, sorry. See, I'm stronger than him now. Okay. Well, we got Rico. More friends on the way. Good looks.